Alright, so in this video today, I'm going to showcase a few different ways on how you can boost your FPS in Fortnite Chapter 5 so you have very similar frame rate to this on screen. So if a vid does end up helping out, please be sure to leave a like, drop a sub on the channel and use my code in the item shop. Now let's get into step 1. So firstly, you want to click on the start menu, go into settings, then where it says system, go into display, then if you scroll down slightly to where it says graphics, inside here you firstly want to make sure the custom options are set to desktop app then you want to go ahead and click on browse and inside this section is where we want to find our fortnite game folder now i know for a fact mine is in my ssd it's under the fortnite folder it's also under Fortnite gear, binaries, Win64, and then boom, in here should be your Fortnite client, Win64 shipping. That's what we're looking for right now. A lot of people think it's a Fortnite launcher, but it's not. You actually want the Win64 shipping one. And once that's selected, just go ahead and click on this add button at the bottom right. And you'll see just like that, if we scroll down, it's now been added. And you can also do this to any favorite game that you play that you want an FPS boost for. But we're not done yet, if you then go onto options, this is a real important part. In here, you want to change the graphics preference from the default, let Windows decide, which by the way, they could put on the power save and we don't want that. Instead, you want to put it on high performance and then go ahead and click on save. For step two, you want to press the following commands on the desktop, that's control, alt and delete. And inside the task manager, if you click on performance tab, and if you go down to the bottom under where it says uptime, you will see there's a counter right there. And mine does at the minute say 3 hours, 11 minutes and 53 seconds, which is accurate. And that is how long my PC has been up for but yours may be a lot different and the number may be significantly higher. And I'm not talking about the hours, I'm talking about the days. I've heard people have had their uptime like 10 days, 20 days, even over a month, which is just mind blowing, but that's what Windows does by default. And it's because of a fast start feature, which basically puts your PC into this like safe hibernation mode. But having uptime for that long can have a huge impact on your performance. What you want is what I've got right here. So every time you turn off your PC, your uptime gets reset. So let me show you how to do that right now. So you want to open up the start menu and inside here, you want to type in control panel and select it. You then want to select the first one, system and security, then click on the power options. And from there, you want to find this little shield logo with an underlined text saying change settings that are currently unavailable. And from there, we have access to the fast start setting, which Windows do recommend and like I mentioned before, it does help your PC start up faster after shutdown, but it does it in a really weird way where it puts your PC in hibernation and it doesn't fully shut it down. So if we go ahead and turn off this setting, which is 100% safe and fine, and it's something I actually highly recommend doing, especially if you've got an SSD, if we then go on to save changes, now if we shut down our PC and turn it back on again, the uptime will be fully reset. All of these will be on 000, and it'll be like literally Literally a few seconds since your PC has booted up, which as you can imagine can significantly improve your FPS. Next up we've got step 3, for this you want to open up the Epic Games Launcher, you then want to go into library and under the Fortnite game where those three horizontal dots are, you want to go into the manage box. After that, you want to find the installation line and click on this little icon right here. From there you want to find the Fortnite game, you want to go into binaries then Win64 and scroll down to where you see the Fortnite client Win64 shipping right here. You then want to go ahead and right click on it, then go into properties. And in here under the compatibility tab, you want to go ahead and tick the disable full screen optimizations button. In addition to doing that, a lot of people like to click the change high DPI settings and they like to click on the override high DPI scale and behavior and give that a tick and make sure it's applied by application. Just don't forget to click OK and then apply. Step four, we're going to go into the start menu and type in CMD. And where it says command prompt right there before clicking on it like so, you want to click run as administrator and inside the command prompt, we're going to run a little command that can benefit your PC a ton and it's the following. It's SFC slash scan and then now like so just literally copy that word for word then press enter and you'll notice it will begin a system scan it'll save it it'll take some time but it doesn't take that long at all and after the scan has completed you will see that if it has found anything which it actually has on my pc right here 
it will automatically repair them and basically fix the issue for me. So it found some sort of crub files, which I have no idea what these are, but it fixed it and I can't really complain about that. So everything is good. This is why I recommend this command is like you've just seen there, it finds crub files that I had no idea about and it fixes them. And for all I know, these like crup files right here could, could have been causing FPS drops, stutters or even crashes in game. Yes, the likelihood of it is very low, but you never know and it's something I like to recommend. For step 5, we're going to open up Discord and we're going to go into the settings tab. We're then going to scroll down to the advanced settings and inside here we've got a setting called hardware acceleration. Now what this does is it uses your GPU to make Discord like run smoother. However, that can negatively affect your FPS. Obviously, it does depend on what PC you've got. If you've got a high-end PC, you won't notice this at all. A medium-end PC, you probably won't either. But if you've got a low-end PC and you have Discord and Fortnite open, you will probably notice this. And if you go ahead and turn this off, you'll probably get a huge FPS boost. Same with Google as well. A lot of people play Fortnite while having this open. They could be watching YouTube or doing anything really. Um, if you actually go into the top right, right here, under where it says settings, then go down to the system on the left hand side, you'll see there's another hardware acceleration button right here. And essentially it does the exact same thing I explained earlier with Discord. Step six, we're back in the Epic Games launcher. Um, under the library, under the free horizontal dots, to Fortnite. If you go this time into options, inside here I highly recommend you uncheck high resolution textures as you don't really need this as you should be using performance mode in game as it will give you way more FPS than DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 will. You can see here the difference, obviously the graphics are a lot lower quality on performance mode in comparison to the others and that's why a lot of people choose to use it. I know some people say that DirectX 12 does run better on the PC but you can see from the graphical fidelity standpoint here the difference does just speak for itself. Along with that as well if you're not using DirectX 12 you can also get rid of the shaders. However I do like to keep this setting ticked and that's pre downloads streamed assets which installs all the assets that would normally be streamed during gameplay as I feel like this can actually help your ping quite a bit in game. Along with that it's also a good idea to go into manage and just go ahead and verify your files. It's something you should be doing every now and then just to make sure well all the files are up to date, they're not corrupt and they're not causing you any issues. Step 7 in the settings under video for meshes I highly recommend using low over the high as this can give you an additional FPS boost. If you didn't know, the higher meshes have much more detail, whereas low meshes have significantly less detail. Also, in audio, you can get a slight FPS boost if you actually use lower, even though it does sound a lot worse, I'm not gonna lie. Also, in game options, if you scroll down to where it says NVIDIA highlights, you want that disabled. You also want peripheral lighting disabled. And for replays, you want all of these disabled, as these can also affect your FPS. Oh, as well, I like to have both these energy saving features off as I've heard these can negatively affect your FPS if they are on. And finally, for step eight, we're gonna go into the start menu and we're gonna type in updates and click on the check for updates. And what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna check for any Windows 11 or Windows 10 updates, whatever operating system you're on. It's very similar. It might be a tiny bit different if you're on Windows 10, but all you wanna do is check for updates and see if there's any out there. I myself, I like to keep my system up to date because I feel like when Microsoft push out an update, it does have good intentions. Like usually they are trying to improve performance and fix bugs. So I do like to go ahead and download them, then install them when I can. However, I do realize for a lot of people out there, they don't like to install the latest updates in case they cause any issues. And that's perfectly fine as well. If you want to sit on it for a little bit and let other people sort of like test the updates before you that's fine you can do that but i myself i always like to keep uh, my windows up to date same with my graphics card drivers as well um i've got a nvidia graphics card so i'll open up geforce experience i click check for updates and then you will see right here the latest geforce game ready driver but yeah guys if these tips did help you out then feel free to drop a like on the video drop a sub on the channel and use my code in the item shop to help me out a turn and before you go feel free to check out any of these other videos on screen right now